Initially, I just wanted to make a video about the club because I assumed that was the one place, the one level, giving people some trouble when it comes to reaching the, the required score. But because some people said they wanted to see all those other levels, here we are, going through all those other <laughs> levels. I'm Jisoo and welcome to the museum. Today we're going to attempt to beat, I don't even remember what the required score is for the museum. I guess it will be 1800? 1900? I honestly don't remember but I'm pretty sure we're going to, to score way more than that. In case you haven't watched the previous video, I'm going to remind you about the rules when it comes to unlocking the master hand outfit and everything you might be doing wrong. So first of all, the multiplayer is the most important thing. You have to maintain it at 3 and that's all you have to do. As long as the multiplayer is at 3, it means that every single hit or every single action you perform is going to, re to reward you with the maximum amount of points. And that's exactly what you're looking for. I heard about people, <laughs> people having 21, 21.9 Ah, uh, no, wait, yeah. Hey, the people were so close to getting the 2200k. I, I mean, two twenty. I'm getting confused. But anyway, people were kind of very close. And that's why I'm saying that every single point matters. <laughs> it does matter. So, yeah, you want to be careful and always keep the multiplayer at 3. Whenever you get hit, and even if you die, it doesn't matter. But when it, once you get up, if you have the bars, you can use... The cardboard move to get back your every single time you use the cardboard is going to score is going to give you um uh it's going to get your multiplayer back to three and that's exactly what you want to do you don't have to be perfect we already established last time that you don't have to be perfect to to reach your scores you can get hit you can die it doesn't matter just again the multiplayer matters so when it comes to weapons, we won't be using weapons because they deal too much damage and you can't use skills. And if you don't want to get diminishing returns and you want to maximize when it comes to the points you have, you want to diversify um, your skills. And you can do that. That was a nice throw. <laughs> you can do that if, um, if you're using weapons. That's why I highly recommend not using any weapon and just going with your skills. And it's also going to make you more familiar with your skills and guess what the arena update is coming in march yeah it is i saw the trailer it was it was nuts it was kind of nuts uh, i gotta say it looked better than i thought it would and my only concern now is whether or not it's going to be endless because if if the arenas are not endless it's going to be a problem because i'm expecting something like um high school right and you just keep going as long as you just keep going it never ends and the the enemies are going to become maybe they're going to grow in number or become um you're going to encounter more archetypes i do want to see new enemy types but i'm holding my breath i also talked about alternative kung fu moves also excited again Shifu is going to 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 come with a big w that's how you keep the game relevant i know there's been a bit of an uproar when it comes to all those updates and at least they're trying that's the thing they're trying and don't forget that all those updates are free right they are free so now is the time to actually get the hang of all those skills i got you i got my whole channel is dedicated to making people better and how i'm just telling you how to play a game better so i'm pretty sure you can find whatever you need to find over there but yeah shifu is back and he's here to stay <laughs> I can't believe I got, I got hit. You never want to fight next to that pandemonium here. You always want to fight somewhere else. But I don't know why I was fighting next to it. I think I got boinked multiple times and it ended up stunning me. And I, st I kept, even though, that's, I was so stubborn. Like, I got hit again. I, I, I'm so stubborn. But you never want to fight next to that thing. It's going to stun them, but it's also going to stun you. And as you can see, I'm only performing takedowns whenever they are on the verge of death because I want to maximize. And I think if you perform a takedown right before they die, you get more points than if you just hit them. So keep that in mind in case you you want to maximize on, your, on getting every single point. It's like you're sucking the points out of them, literally. <laughs> But I never felt like this. You know what? Even though they changed the way the scary system works, I don't feel like it's a big deal. 
But like I said before, I do feel like the moment they they took away the ability to get some points from dodging and burying, they should have reduced the scores because, well, they 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 they, they set that bar, you know, those scores while taking into account that you will get some points by performing dodging, dodges and parries. If you take that out, you need to address the whole scoring and you know what? But the, as it turns out, it's fine. And like I said again last time, there's an argument to be made that you have to work for it. It's called the master hand of the fate, you need to earn it. So I'm here to show you how to earn it. Kill every single enemy on every single level. It's also, it's also going to help you uh, get familiar with uh, the enemy's attacks and whatnot. Because again, arena's coming soon. I mean, three months. That's so far. That's so far away. But also, so close. <sighs> I do think it's... Uh, wait, I think it's 18k. For the museum, it has to be 18k. I don't know, man. I forgot. Huh. But anyway, as you can see, we are heading into the most toxic room in this level. And I kind of want to just fight them. You know, uh, normally you want to be cautious because the juggernauts are kind of problematic. They can grab you and that sucks. But you, we do want someone to turn. I don't know if we're going to be that lucky. Because it's really up to RNG. If that girl turns or that guy holding a knife turns, you know, it's good for us. But chances are he's not going to. Because, uh, yeah, I think he didn't. I think nobody did. Which is unfortunate because when they turn, they can give you... Depending on the... Ooh, I remember that. That was a nice kick. That was a very nice kick. And uh, I got grabbed. <laughs> yeah, cowboy for the win. I think Cobalt was designed for this very challenge. So I'm trying to save the girl. I was trying to save the girl for last. Because if you kill enough enemies, there is a big chance the girl is going to turn. But because I couldn't isolate her, it was kind of problematic. So I was thinking about what to do. See, I think I ended up just killing her. Yeah, that was very unfortunate. But I did try to actually save her for that. For thinking about the, the those juggernauts are so annoying because they can run for some reason they are that fat that they can run i don't even think i can run like for real for real i mean i can but i mean i don't know like that but yeah i when when they do turn you can get up to seven seven hundred or six hundred points which is crazy so you always want to first kill hit them and then they might turn and we just missed out on 500 points which is sad i'm kind of sad but again it won't matter because we're not going to be close to the required score as long as you do what i do i mean not do what i do but do as i say no weapons no takedowns no um keeping your multiplayer up you're going to be I'm going to save 2,000 or 3,000 points clear from the required score. Like, you get this. I think the next part is kind of tricky because you may die. Usually, uh, if you if you just want to speed run your way through this, uh, through the, the rain part, you just stab everybody and be on your way. But because we have to, well, to drag the fights and get the most points, yeah, it's going to be a hassle. Oh yeah, that's the one thing I don't like about the new scary system. The fact that every single fight feels like a drag. I, don't, I, just, I just don't like it. It feels like it's not, it's, you're not actually showcasing the you know, the kung fu. You just, you just toying with your prey. You're just playing with your food. I don't like it. And, you know, I feel like no matter what you do, you should be able to reward it with the, the the points, right? Maybe, maybe keep the thing, the, the the thing which makes it so that if you repeat your skills, you're going to get. You know, uh, less points, but just give us the ability to just do do what we want, man. Some encounters can last um, thirty seconds, but you are going to extend them to two minutes just because you want the points. You're just a sucker. Just suck every single bit of points you can get. Sucky, sucky. And then you get hit, and then you tap them on the head. Then you get hit, and then you tap them on the head. Oh boy. 
I do think, I do feel like the, the club was a problem. Maybe because people don't know the layout of the club. They don't know about some hidden enemies and if you miss one, I feel like if you miss one, it's going to be problematic. But if you don't, then good luck, good, good job. But if you, if, let's say, I think if you miss the twins, for example, you are in trouble because that's about, maybe that's even 2k, 2k points you are missing out on, which is huge. It is huge. So you want to get every single point you can get and it means understanding the levels and oh my god why was i fighting in the dark um, like sometimes i really feel like i just turn off my brain and i just do things oh my god just go to the middle like when they're all together like that that's a bad idea to just try to go against them you need to divide and conquer but i think i was just i was just eager to just get through this part and i didn't even think uh-huh 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 you're getting hit oh now you understand you need to go to the middle go to the light so now now i understand <laughs> but before i was like mm, i'm him i'm going to do it nah you're not going to do it not today maybe tomorrow see this is a, like a, this fight in particular i don't like because it is such a drag this one encounter can go so fast 30 seconds or less but because you have to drag it down and they all come at you at once you need to just take it so slow I don't even remember when we came here, but it felt like an eternity, and I, he got grabbed again. Jesus Christ! Yeah, you, you, you like it, what, the moment they attack you at once, you just need to back off because you want the points. You want you need to get a multiplayer up, but you just just can't take risks. If they come at you, you need to back off. And even then, he could have grabbed me. That's the thing. He could have grabbed me while I was performing the mink mink. So it's never it's never safe. And once the girls are done, then it's easy. Because those guys by themselves are like, you know, they're super easy. But you put two juggernauts in a room and instantly it's scary. Because they can grab you any second time. So I was thinking maybe in the arenas they can put like um, a room with two juggernauts and two disciples. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, oh mother. My, <laughs> I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding already. Oh god, it's going to be hard because you cannot you, you have to bury the disciples and you have to stay still while they're hitting you, but you can't stay still because the juggernauts might grab you. Ooh, see, slow clap, I'm giving you guys ideas. Like and for the love of God, please, for the love of God, I want the arenas to never end. I want to keep playing Shinfu until I die. Uh, like make a game which lasts forever. People are asking if I think it's going to be online. And let's be honest, I don't know if you know, but making an online game requires a lot of resources. I'm not even talking about people. Like, you need people on the team which have experience on working with a game. And that's not the case for Slow Clap. I mean, not to my knowledge. I think those, those guys are making... Uh, you know they focus on absorber yes they made absorber but at the same time it's not the same thing because i believe Absol absorber launched with that idea in mind with the fact that it was going to be um, a pvp experience right but that, that's very different for shifu which was supposed to be and still is a single player experience so if they want to just change direction halfway it's going to to require people like new people because Shifu is way, way above um, Absolver when it comes to, uh, I'm going to say popularity, like the game worked well, a lot of people liked it, so uh, to, like, imagine one, I'm going to say even 20k, 20k people play at once, that's, you need to uh, like, e to sustain the experience online for players, to, uh, the, the, all the servers and whatnot, it requires resources, money and everything, and like I said, they didn't get money for all, for any DLCs that are putting out the outfits, even if they are going out of their way to get licenses for those outfits, they're not getting paid, all that that for the money they get for the game, so you have to give them some credits, you have to cut them some slacks. I don't think it's happening. I don't think online is happening. It's going to remain a single player experience. But it doesn't mean that maybe for oh my god, I got <laughs> I got hit in the face like boink. It doesn't mean that um 
the game is, it, I mean, maybe a possible sequel. Like maybe a sequel can 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 be online. I would love to see that. I would love to actually see people talk about PvP, but I want to actually cooperate with people. It will be fun. Imagine, oh my, I got hit in the face again. You know what? I I hate the bodyguards because all they do, I, I hate I, every single time I have to go against an enemy which doesn't attack. I, it gets it gets me so annoyed. Like you you can't even imagine. Like fight me. Like stop watching me. Stop staring and just fight. But this guy is just like, ah, you look so good. You look so good today, man. And the the bodyguards are so annoying. They're not even strong. They're just they're so weak. They, they, they never attack. They just watch you. Jesus Christ. Anyway, what was I talking? What was I talking about? I forgot. Like, I really don't like the bodyguards. I would rather fight like um, even three body, three um juggernauts or three flash kicks and fight one bodyguard because it's just so annoying, wasting your time. Flash kicks, I can take them on any day. But one bodyguard and um, it's already a drag. Like uh, the, the the challenge is already a drag, but they make it they make it so much more of a drag than it has to be. See? Flash kicks easy. Remember when we first started playing Shifu and every time we would see a flash kick we would go like oh god no oh no 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 <laughs> I remember that every single time you will see those big boots lady you will go crazy because you will be like oh my god the mix ups the mix ups but today we go like oh, oh it's just it's just that girl crush punch in her crush and she's done for that's the beauty of the game that's the beauty of the game you yeah, you can actually see the progress, and I'm actually glad I still have my videos on uh, about my first time when I, the first time when I played Shifu. I can go there sometimes and be like, "Oh my god, you're such a noob! <laughs> you're such a noob! Come on, blood! Come on, dodge! Oh my god, you scorch branch! Ah, oh, disgusting!" Like here, for example, like this one place, it terrorized me for years. I mean, not years, months, but yeah, you, you get the idea. This place is very toxic. The first time I was like, wait, do they have do they, do they have blades for feet? Like, it's, they, they I used to call them big boots, la big boots lady, and now they have blades for feet. Why? <laughs> and it, they do so much damage. But look at look at this. She get, she's done. I don't even think I got hit. This is the beauty of Shifu. Crush punch is your friend. Now I think I was trying. Yeah, I think I was trying to make her like this. See, I I know what I'm thinking. Boom. See, 25k. The museum done with 25k. I don't remember what you need, how much points you need for this level, but I don't think I think you with 25k we you have you have more than enough, more than enough. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to do the tower next, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe, to drop a like, and. I'll see you on the other side. Bye-bye.